tornado. Twist up. Welcome to today's video, boys and girls. We are starting off at Daikoku PA. Oh, those 350Zs are looking fire. Need one in my life. A lot of Subis too. Subu, how does it go? Subu, Subu, Subu. Something, something like that. Can you do it for me? Ubu, Su, Subu. I don't know how it goes. I'm butchering it. What? Subu. I don't know. Sanyong, R34. NC with two bikes on the roof. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's get out and have a look. Aside, we were at Daikoku for some fun today. Check out some cool cars. Look at this lineup here at 32s. Mmm, that's good. But we're here with May and Sylvia. Sylvia helped out today. She did a whole bunch of packing of all of your orders. Thank you so much for that, guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna look at some cool cars. I want May, you gotta tell me which car you like here the most. And Sylvia, you too, today. You gotta pick a car that you like here the most. All right, everyone's gonna stick around in the video just to know about that. So I'm admiring this 350Z. I really dig it. I'm not sure what front bar that is, but, or side skirts, because these are definitely not OEM. But this rear wing, I kind of dig that, like kind of reverse, kind of mount style. I like that. Kind of nice. Big wing. You like the big wing? I like the big wings. You like the big wing? Yeah. Okay. Brembo brakes. It's kind of clean. I like it. I'm not so much of a fan of like how much the nose comes out. It's one thing like, I think I like like uh, just like a bash bar on my 350Zs, but it looks good. Another one here. Man, I, I've really got a problem. Oh, oh, this is the new 350Z. This is the HR one, see? The easiest way to tell if it's a HR 350Z is if the bonnet has this, this hump here. The bonnet has that hump, it's got the HR engine, which is variable cam timing on both sides and two pod filters. This one will be like uh, probably a DE or a rev up, the hood like that. This one, nice little bump here. That's the HR bump. It's a bit taller, I think, right? Because the uh, intake manifold comes up higher. But yeah, damn. Yeah, the HR ones definitely look better. And then over here, we got a couple GT86s. This thing's kind of nice. Um, I had a good chuckle, though, because he's got the uh, the Scion uh, badge on there. A lot of people like the American kind of style, like USDM stuff, so. I have a confession. You have a confession? I don't want the RX-8. You don't want an RX-8 anymore? What, for your first car? What do you want? This. You want a GT86? <laughs> like wide body on bags, like hard parker? Think, a hard think, parker? I don't know, I just like, I just like how... I think you just like the color, right? No, but like the butt part too. You like the butt? It's cute. We can get you one of these and you can do all the reverse entries you want. But one thing I really like is this twin exhaust, like on both sides, it's not typical like side by side, it's staggered like almost on top of each other. And I can see there's a logo there, I think it's a Tom's exhaust? I do like that. Interesting. Man, look at this guy's shifter. That's um, yeah. So many Subarus here today. This lineup looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. I really do love this front end though, this looks aggressive and cool. <laughs> and then we got a couple. Itasha cars, we got a nice 8.6. Damn, those endless brakes. <laughs> Advent GT wheels. So good. You, you're laughing, man. Like, everyone's gonna be listening to you guys laughing in the back of my vlog. This is so good. I'm just waiting for the comments. Everyone's like, dude, tell them to shut up. Nah, I'm joking. You having a good time, that's fine. Little Volkswagen, Natasha. That's okay, that's good. This thing's kind of cool. What is this? RG two wheels. What is this? It's hard to tell. The headlights are all been changed. The aero kits really looks nice. Oh my God, someone stole my idea of the KTR. Is it a Vitz or something? It's kind of cool. I dig it. This is a really nice A70 Supra. Whew. I saw something that I can relate to. Beautiful. 180SX here, right? Wrong. 
200SX. And the glass is also 200SX. If you guys know, you know, this would have had to have been imported from the, from, from the UK. So oh, this probably also used to have a CA18 in there. This is really clean and nice. Oh, I kind of want to pop the hood and check the, the VIN. This had to have come from the, the UK though. I actually have one of these same shells in Australia. That's my 180SX. Well, it's actually the 200SX identical to this because it was a private import from the, the UK. But they got these, in, they got 180SXs over there and they were 200SXs. Had a CA18 and pretty much the same thing as a 180. It's just for some reason, the trimming and the glass said 200SX. Very cool, because what Japan knows as the 200SX is the Sylvia, the S15. Very interesting. Oh, she found another 8.6. What do you think of this one? I don't like the Wang. You don't like the Wang? You don't like that? I think that's the TRD Wang, but I don't know. I'm not too educated on these. A lot of these wheels, they kind of look nice. Were you posing? I wasn't posing, I said how do I look? You look good, you look good with the car. You look good with any car, just get your license first. <laughs> Hachiroku! Yes, that's clean, that looks nice. You got one Japanese girl and one Slavic girl here, I guess. I'm not Slavic! <laughs> You're dressed like a Slav! <laughs> it was a mistake! It was a mistake! <laughs> nice 34 GTT here with the Z Tune kind of kit on there and GTR rear fenders. Looks nice. Work Meisters too. Seriously? She looks so Slavic. <laughs> she didn't. Okay, we gotta be honest. She didn't actually know that like it was a Slavic thing to dress like this <laughs> with the Adidas stuff. And like when I saw her today, I was like, Yo, you, are you trying to do like the slab squat thing? And then she was like, what are you talking about? What's a slab? So I made her Google slab squats and then she literally looked identical to the first image that came up and she couldn't believe it. She's so uncultured. She had no idea what a slab squat was. Dude, when I wrote it, I was like, how do you even spell this? <laughs> <laughs> she was so mind blown that she'd been dressing like that for so long. Because even some of her other friends have told her that but she I'm looked- so confused. Why? What? <laughs> Oh man. Alright, favorite cars here. May, what's your favorite car? The purple 86? Yeah. Alright, Sylvia, what's your favorite car? I like the one with the weird wing. The weird wing? The 350Z? Yeah. So the 350Z with the reverse wing. Not gonna lie, I like this car too. It looks good. Good choice. These WRX hatches are growing on me, man. I don't know, something about that wing there that just looks fire. May, what do you think of that wing on that blue hatch Subaru? Look at that. That's like a... It's like a bookshelf. Yeah. It's like an Ikea bookshelf. Yeah. But on the back, it looks sick. With like the model... Like yeah. Hot wheels and stuff in it. Oh my god. I just had an idea, Sylvia. What? So, you know how we both have a friend that likes making videos about meeting particular race girls? Oh god, no. In Japan? Let's take a photo of you slab squatting. <laughs> and <laughs> we'll title the video, I met a slab, a slab racer girl. <laughs> <laughs> at Daikoku PA in oh Japan. No. Please don't make me a meme. <laughs> I don't want to be known for the wrong reason. <laughs> We're about to leave, but May just spotted another 8.6. And it's, it's got... Wing. She's it's so like excited. A, as tall as me, look. <laughs> She's so excited. She gets so excited over big wings. It's got work, Meisters. Oil cooler kit. Oh man, it's got an intercooler. It must have a HKS turbo kit or a supercharger kit. It's kind of nice. I think he needs like an air kit though because an 8.6 of this kind of kit does not deserve that much wheel gap. That's like a fist gap above the tire and the fender. Or maybe he does have an air kit and he just hasn't aired out yet. I don't know. We just left at the right time. Look at this storm rolling in. It looks insane. So crazy. Yeah, but it's the next day and I've just arrived at Up Garage to sell some parts, but before we do anything else, I'm hoping that those, uh, those VSKFs are still available that I want to get for the K-Van. I just need to double check the sizing and make sure that they're going to fit. And if they do, we're grabbing them today, boys. I want those. They can be like my winter wheels. Survey says... You're kidding. Dude, it hasn't even been a week and they're gone. 
I am so salty about that. I should have bought them when I saw them. They were right there. Oh, I am very upset. Oh, I'm gonna ask them. Spoke to the staff, they're gone. Two days ago, someone bought them. Which one of you guys did it? <laughs> it's one of you guys, isn't it? All right, let's head inside so we can find something else to kind of make myself happy about. <laughs> I'm so butthurt about that. So this is very interesting. This is a 34 GTR transmission missing the transfer case. Huh. I mean, if the gear set's good, this would be a really good transmission because this is the get track transmission, right? Um, I need to read some of this kanji. I think it might be broken internally though. I mean, we could just... Feels good. Technically what you can do, I believe the transfer cases were the same. Don't quote me on this though. So technically I could buy this one for $300 and that for $300, put them together and maybe get a get track. <laughs> that would actually be kind of crazy. So these sell for a lot of money. I'm gonna do some research on that. Might be a good thing to just snap up and, and hold. Especially if it's legit and there's nothing internally wrong with it. I'm trying to get a look in the back there. I don't know, maybe the money's in the transfer case and that's different from the 33s and 32s. I'm gonna do some research on that later. Find out. Yeah, usual kind of stuff is here, I guess. Always like checking things and seeing if anything's here. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get some strut braces for the 32, if they have any. I'll go through these and see what we can find. Oh, S15 one right off the bat, nice. Actually, I don't know if I should buy a strut brace because it depends on what engine I go with if I have room for one. Might have to make something custom. Damn, a lot of eight six parts here at the moment. Four age. Valve covers, two sets of them. Damn, that's cool. These painted ones look really nice. A bit more expensive. K12C, Suki engine crank. A lot of stuff here. Ooh, R33, stock OEM ECU, 50 bucks. I love these old style gauges, so cool. What do we got here? Nissan OEM one? Man, that's sick. GTR one, 40 bucks there, that's kind of cheap. They do fail a lot, so there's a good chance that's probably broken. Now, do they have any Nardis? Nardi classics, always looking for a Nardi classic. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, this is a seat section. Getting lost over here, guys. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, this thing's actually pretty cheap for a really good condition. <laughs> Damn, okay. I guess no one really wants these, to be honest. They, they want to put like Nardis on there, Hachirokas, but. Ooh, $150, R32 steering wheel. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do with my steering wheel that's in the uh, 32, I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> out of all places, I would not expect to find E36 headlight at um, Up Garage. Only $100 flat though, for a set of two. They look pretty nice too. <laughs> not expect to see that here at uh, Up Garage, that's for sure. Start looking now if there's any chaser ones here. I need new ones for my chaser. Hmm. Normally they're all here because there's a Toyota section, but absolutely no. Dude, Toyota 86 headlights are so cheap. $170. <laughs> Wish my S15 headlights were that cheap. One thing that blows my mind actually is just how expensive car audio is in Japan. I used to be really big into car audio when I first like got my driver's license and stuff and like just secondhand like subwoofers or even like small 12 inches and stuff are very expensive. Like this is a secondhand little small sub. They want like $250 for it. And it's some of this stuff isn't the greatest quality. It's kind of crazy. Like old kickers still like I don't know $250. Rockford Foldsgate's always been kind of expensive, and that's a new one, I think. They want $600 for it, though. I don't know, was car audio always this expensive? Was it just me? This is actually funny. So this is a Nismo S15 cluster. It's been used up to 5,000 kilometers, and they want $2,000 for it. These are selling right now on eBay, brand new, for four to $5,000. <laughs> 
so that's kind of cheap actually i mean it is a little bit used but it's only been used for 5,000 kilometers so that's kind of cheaper than what they're selling for on ebay right now that's for sure i'm glad i got one at the cost price before they went up in price i know someone that has about 20 of these in storage <laughs> yo that's kind of cool 33 uh gtr cluster there very clean that looks amazing it's got a hundred and eleven thousand kilometers on the clock too they put a bunch of exp whoa 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 what is this link ecu.com three hundred dollars um what what that can't be right um wait what is that fast and furious dodge ice charger japan tour what is that there's a fast and furious card in there what the hell is that some collector's card i'm so mind blown right now i have no idea what is going on huh some weird stuff here yo this is a good turbo hks 2835 don't let the corrosion fool you this is a really good turbo very good performance turbo these things felt really good especially on an rb20 ball bearing made by garrett these cores they ran so good super cool i think that's a one off a subaru yeah g gd8 it says that's a really good turbo the version the rb version of that was super good speaking of r34 op6 turbo $250 not bad well that's for the 25 neo jzx 100 turbo $200 oh damn that's actually tight that's that's got no problems with it no one's ever run more than <laughs> one bar on that can't say the same for any of my <laughs> jzx turbos a lot of intake manifold stuff here it's weird like you can still actually kind of find a good deal in up garage these days it's it's bizarre it's also kind of weird because a lot of stuff is also overpriced. You just got to know what to look for. Just noticed the Suzuki Every here. It's kind of cool. I like the wheel fitment. Looks good next to mine. I think the TEs look better though. <laughs> Anyways, unfortunately, Up Garage uh, didn't give me the price I wanted for what I'm trying to sell. Uh, it's a little bit of a sad story, actually. And I don't really want to get too much into it. I'm not going to mention any brands or anything like that. But if you guys remember the turbo that didn't even last two days on the Chaser, well, um, a little bit of a PayPal dispute with them about that. They promised me and said they would refund me. I shipped them the turbo back. Then they ghosted me once they received it for like three weeks. I kept asking for updates. They'd never reply, tell me what was going on. And I kept asking, where's my money? Why aren't you guys refunding me? And then uh, long story short, I opened a PayPal case because, you know, without any communication, it just looks like they had one taken the product back and never communicated anything to me and i hadn't and i paid for that and you know what i'm trying to say so i opened a paypal case um and then within like i don't know like a, a couple days before the case was meant to end they updated it with a tracking number saying that they had shipped a new one to me even though they promised they were going to just refund my money um and i didn't receive it or sign for it in fact they did the sneaky because they knew that if i was gonna if they shipped it to my house that i was going to deny delivery and then i was going to you know provide that proof to paypal and they were going to have to force you know refund me well no they shipped it to um uh, fuster's workshop and of course those guys didn't know what was going on they just thought it was a package and signed for it and uh now paypal thinks that i have this turbo um which i do and i'm trying to get my money back and see if um up garage would take it but they don't know much about that brand and the most they were willing to give me was 200 dollars. so i'm just gonna put on yahoo auctions tonight it's brand new it's still it comes with a new warranty card and everything so it's got warranty for a year and all that kind of stuff um and uh yeah i, I guess i'll just see what it sells for on yahoo auctions and hope for the best but long story short um don't do anything with crappy turbo companies stick to the world's best garrett that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna leave it at garrett turbos is the best i love working with them their product is amazing i've never had any problems with their turbos um every other brand that is cheap has broken like in 48 hours or every time and i swear i'm the unluckiest guy because i watch other youtubers that have the best luck with these things and they're just every time i get them they're junk anyways guys uh rant over <laughs> Sorry about that little tangent there, but I'm sure you can understand why I'm all frustrated. I'm gonna go pick up the wifey now. 
But yeah, I still hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely a little bit salty on today's off garage visit. VSKFs were gone, couldn't get the money back for that piece of crap turbo. But it is what it is and tomorrow will be a better day because we're gonna be working on the S15. Planning to do all the fuel system upgrades tomorrow. We got three pumps to install, surge tanks, bunch of AN lines and fittings. Really excited about that. Um, and then I guess the next step will be, I think clutch is even coming tomorrow so we can get that and the flywheel all on the engine ready to drop in. It's gonna be a big eventful day. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, once again, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you to everyone who jumped on the merch drop. We sold so much stuff. There's only like a couple S and XL hoodies left. So if you guys wanna jump on that before they're all gone, that is the last time I am redoing that particular design and hoodie. And then the summer uh, shirts, there's only a few in all sizes left of those. Even though, it, you guys keep blowing me away by the way. I always double down next, like every drop, I, I get like almost double the amount because we sell out so fast and you guys just keep snapping it up. This is probably one of the first time that I've had some, like a bunch of this stuff left over that you guys can still take advantage of. So if you haven't grabbed anything yet, semit.net. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out. Jamata. Oh.